You're not really independent. And that is what we're fighting for, right? We're, we're not just fighting for our existence, we're fighting for our independence, right? So when we talk about Zionism, you know, we've all heard this already in the last seven months, we've all become experts of Zionism. We've all, our Zionism has been reignited, and Zionism is the Jewish right for self-determination in our homeland. The most important thing in that word is self. It's self-determination. It's that we get to decide what happens to us. And that is why Independence Day this year is so immensely important. But it's also, we're celebrating Independence Day here in New York City, not in Israel. And that takes on a very different meaning. Because we're, in a way, we, the Jewish diaspora, are also celebrating some sort of independence. The last seven months have been very difficult for many, many of us, probably all of us. But it was, they were difficult because we learned to separate ourselves from people we thought were our friends, but they were not really our friends. They were just fair-weather friends, and they, they wanted us to be something else. And being truly independent is being who we are, no matter what they want from us. You know, if you're a college student, if you are working in, in a company where they might want the Jews to behave in a certain way, and our independence is us saying, no, we get to decide who we are, we get to decide where we are, we get to decide how we are, right? So for us, independence is us being able to tell the world, we want to work with you, but we no longer work for you. That is our independence. It's, it's our ability to say, if we want to wear our Star of David, we will wear our Star of David, and you will have to deal with it. That is our independence. If I want to go on campus, and I want to go anywhere on campus, just like anyone else, that is my right. That, what, that's what it means to be truly, truly independent. So in a way, we're celebrating our independence. And look, being independent is not easy. Everybody wants to, you know, it, when we were kids, we were not independent. We were dependent on others. They would take care of us. And, but we also, we had less rights, fewer rights, and fewer responsibility. Being independent means that you get a lot of rights, but you fight for your rights, and you take on a lot of responsibility. In Israel, every day is a fight for independence. But here also in the United States and in many other countries around the world, Jews right now, we are fighting for our independence. But we're not fighting for independence violently. We're fighting smartly and we're fighting peacefully. So last night, uh, just as I was about to fall asleep, my son came in and ruined it. And and you know, and I can already hear his footsteps coming from like his bedroom all the way to our, don't live in the big apartment, but you know, I got like three second warning. He's like, I hear him stomping and then coming to my side of the bed. He says, I can't fall asleep. I was like, I go count sheep. All right, he comes back after two minutes again. I know like I'm not gonna fall asleep, but he does you know, oh, it doesn't work. I said, think about happy thoughts. And then I ask him, but then he comes back again and he says, I'm afraid. I said, what are you afraid of? He said, I'm afraid of the dark. And I said, okay, don't be afraid of the dark, right? Because that's, that's, what you, what, that's what happens at 1 a.m. and you're a parent. But then he comes back and he says, I can't sleep, I'm afraid of the dark. And I told him, why? What are you afraid of the dark? What's in the dark? Like you can turn on the lights, see everything, turn it off, turn it off again, and go to sleep. He said, no, it's not that I'm afraid of something dark. I'm afraid of the dark itself. Which is very profound for an eight year old, by the way. And, <laughs> and, I, and then I told him, listen, dark is not, darkness is nothing. Darkness is just the absence of light. Think about it this way. Just because there isn't light, there's darkness. That's the only thing. And he said the most beautiful thing. He said, that makes sense. Very much for an eight year old. Life. And then he goes to sleep and he falls asleep. But then I couldn't fall asleep because I kept thinking about that's exactly 
what we are dealing with. We are afraid of the dark. That is all, right? It's not the student protesters. It's not the anti-Semitic professors. It's not the crazy, rabid anti-Semitic politicians from the extreme left or the extreme right. It's the dark. That is what we're afraid of. Independence is something that you keep going. You can't assume that just because you won the war for independence, that you will stay independent. It's something that you wake up every day and decide, I will stay independent, I will keep fighting for my independence as an individual, as a people, and as a country. And the only way we can do this is with light. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity.